given his size, how is he able to do what he does? I think speed, quickness, toughness. Um, you know, he's got he's he's courageous, very courageous. Uh, Kansas had a terrific year. Um, he does a lot. He does a lot with his body. Um, you know, again, great shooter, terrific in, tr in transition. Like Frank, the, Emil is also a leader type guy. What, what do you see of him? Obviously, he's had a lot of experience being that voice and that presence at Duke. What do you see in him as a um, just a leader? I mean, I mean, exactly what you just said. He's a leader. He leads uh, by example. He leads uh, with his voice. Uh, he leads with the way he plays and how hard he plays. Uh, he rebounds it very well. Um, he's exceptional in, in terms of finishing with both hands in the paint. Um, you know, tough kid, you know, Philly kid, so. Do you think his leadership will be like his, his best attribute in, in regards to making an NBA roster? I think so. Um, you know, again, a leader, toughness, um, went to a big pro program at Duke. Um, you know, did a really, really nice job this year. You guys value versatility and ability to play multiple positions. How did this group sort of rank in that respect, Marco? A lot of these guys kind of can defend multiple positions and so on in your eyes. Yeah, I think you look at somebody like Jabari Bird, you know, he can play multiple positions, whether it's the two or the three. You know, he projects out to be a three and D guy. You know, he can stretch the floor. And not only that, he can also guard multiple positions. For a player like uh, Moore, I mean, can you guys not help but see that stat, like his rebounding numbers for the position he plays in? Or what do you make of that? What do you attribute to that? Certainly a lot of value right there in terms of, you know, rebounding from his position. You know, he's a scrappy kid, uh, plays hard, competes at a really high level. Tons of value there in somebody who can rebound at a rate like that from his position. What have been your overall impressions of all the second round to undrafted guys that you've been looking at because you do have so many second round picks? Yeah, like you said, we have four second round picks and, uh, you know, we're going to look at a lot of different options. We've had a lot of workouts here in the last couple of weeks, really focusing in on uh, those second round picks. We feel, you know, if we're gonna utilize all of those picks, we'll be able to select, you know, four solid players. Um, you know, again, the groups that we've had come in, we feel we're gonna get a pretty good player. How much does the two-way contracts change how you guys view this draft process with these later round guys? Certainly gives us another option in terms of filling out the back half of our roster. Um, you know, again, we've had a, a, a very good group in terms of the players we brought in. Um, and feel we need to utilize it two way, whether we use it through free agency or whether we use it through draft eligible kids, um, we'll, we'll certainly select uh, a couple of kids who we feel can help down the road.